tacking it all in. I went a little short there, but that's no big deal. We can fill that in. All right. So, and then like I said, then this, once I cut this, I'll look and see how, I think it kind of goes on a curve, if I remember right. I'll go look at another one. I'll look at one, a couple of them. And then, I'm going to stitch this real easy so I don't warp nothing. This is going to come out really nice. So, I'll give it a little... I need to leave this like this for now because I got to get that I got to get Josh to get in there and take the door panel I mean that yeah the back seat the panel for the window off because I don't want to make sparks in there and I know how that goes so I had my white 64 we were welding something in the trunk one time I'm trying to remember what that I was welding something in the trunk something to do with the uh, we were welding something in there. And it was sitting in here. And we were in here for an hour or something after that. Cleaned everything up. Went back in the house. Came in the next morning. And I kept smelling something. Smelling something. And I look in the trunk and I could see like a little tiny like little smoke. And I'm like, what the heck is that? I open the door and I go to move, like to touch the back seat, and the back seat was like hot. So all that, I guess they call it that horse hair, whatever it looks like horse hair to me. All that hair that's in inside, stuffed in the seats, was glowing red, like it was like a cigarette. It looked like a cigarette burning inside there. Pull it all out. It melted the whole inside of the seat. I don't know how it didn't catch the whole car up. So we ended up having to get the seat, trying to find upholstery for the seat for a cyclone. That was that took like six months after that to get that. And then we, we ended up reupholstering the seat and make it fixing the seat. But, so I'm gonna leave that like that. I'm actually gonna start working on this piece up here now. And then I'll be able to join into that piece back there. Right, so but that's basically you know nice, smooth, good deal. Um, I'll be able to tack this on the inside, and then this will be finished. This will all be ground down clean, and then it'll have that continuous line going all the way across like it's supposed to. Once we finish all that, clean that all up. All right, we're gonna move on to the next spot. All right, so now I started cutting this nib off here. I'm gonna trim this back. I need to move it that way, like a sixteenth of an inch, because now I cut this lip off, right? So this was in here, so I need to move it back that much, because that's this now is gonna take place of this. Plus this had old Bondo on it, so it's gonna go back like that far. All right, I'm gonna get back under there. Got that cut. I got this nice and flush. This piece is gonna go up in here like that. So once we get that piece in here, that'll fit like that. So now I gotta trim this back so this drops in. I'll tack this, and then we'll just keep moving this and tacking this as we go along that way. All right, so trim that off. This is nice and flush with this, right? This is all nice and flush. I'm just gonna keep stitching it all the way back as tight as I could get it. This is gonna get a panel on the inside because of this mess, all right?
better we get this now, the better it'll be at the end. put another panel in there so I like that that came out good now we'll just go back I'm gonna put a a spoon behind it and then just keep tacking it and tacking it and then we'll be able to grind this all clean clean it all up it'll look like all one big panel again this I tack this so this is separated from that now right so it's separated from the inside like it's supposed to be at this point so I'll be able to move this where I need it I'll put this piece in and then we'll make the inside piece to match the outside piece right okay so I took the drop off down right and then we got that stitched on the inside. So now we're going to cut this piece off. Right? To make that. We know this goes right there just like that no matter what. It goes right there. So we're going to make that piece in there to match this. So that's part of the wheel well. The actual wheel well. This is the trunk drop off. And clearly you can see this car was green. All the way up into here is green. So, I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to cut that piece out. I'll make a new one of those. And then we'll put this up. Put that piece in. Stitch that all together. And then go make that other piece. Because I want this done. Because then I can weld. I grind all this down. I already ground all that up. I could put the... The drop off on, weld the truck, the drop off on there, weld this onto here. That ain't gonna move, then this will be done. Um, I'm gonna put a panel in there to hold that together because I don't want to lose this line. I'm gonna put a panel there, and then at the very end, we'll make a, a little cap here at the very end. So, right now, I'm doing this one. All right, so this is the piece we cut out. This is the one we're gonna put in there. So that actually has a lip. That's going to follow that. That's going to come to that, and then I could trim it. Because I cut that a little short, we're going to fold that over. So now I need it to... Like that. So I'm bumping it, right? Like that. We'll give it this little curve that it's got like that. And then we'll be able to fit it back in there. All right. So I'm going to get this as close as we could. All right, well that's got to be, we're going to hammer that down after. I need this curve first, so I'm going to bump this in to match. And 
this is all basically kind of trial and error because you got to make sure it hugs it like that, right? So that's one side and then it comes a little bit more here and then it starts going the other way. Uh, all right, so now I gotta I gotta make this pocket in here. So I'm gonna go bang this pocket out, fold this up a little better. This side's looking good. This side's gonna be fine. That side actually gets. If you remember right, it was this was a little short, so I made it a little bit longer so that it meets the bottom of the the trunk and the bottom of the quarter panel cleaner instead of having a big gap in there so I'm gonna go move this up I'll show you that in a minute all right now obviously this one is gonna be different here because of the way it's the new quarter panel goes so this one kind of curled up more this one kind of curled out a little less I mean a little more that way so but let me show you how it fits the getting up and down and laying down and up and down and laying down that's what kicks your butt all right let me show you all right well hopefully you can see this so this is going to sit in here right I wish I could have did this standing up, but all right. So that's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. This is gonna get welded down here. This goes up here like that. This is gonna get folded over like it was before. I'm gonna mark that where it gets folded over, and there you have it. This lines back up. Weld that back on. Then these two get pinched together like that. That gets bolted weld it onto there like that and you're done new wheelhouse all right all right got that tacked in place that fits real nice and I'm gonna clean up in here because I can't find myself and then I'm gonna put the panel on there whoop hold on I dropped you hold on there we go I'm gonna put the panel on there, and then this panel that goes here, I'm gonna make some little holes in it so I can spot weld it in place, and then weld it all up into there. All right, got this mess cleaned up in here. As you can see, it's coming along now. All right, so that in there is ready. Like you can even, even this is nice and flush clean. I got a patch here because I need to strengthen this corner up. And then I'm going to fill that there. We're going to grind off the rest of this. Sorry. I'm going to grind off the rest of this. Keep the original piece there. And then I'll make this piece later. This is get all going to get stitched. That in there. That's all in. Got to finish stitching all that together. And then I'm going to make this little piece here. Getting there, getting there. All right, this piece is already made up. That's for that lip. All right, you know what time it is? Coffee time. We'll continue with this later. I know the videos are long, a lot of work. If you want to keep watching how it works and how it comes along, just stay tuned. Hit the like and subscribe for us. Hit the like button. That's what we need. Like buttons and comments. Appreciate it. All right. So I got this tacked. I got that panel tacked in. I'm going to put this piece in next. And then I can go back and keep stitching it and welding it without getting it all hot. All right. So I'm going to get this piece on here. And then we're going to cut the little lip off.
fucking build sheet. distort the quarter panel. Blow all that out. I'm not sure. I don't think it's the build sheet. I think it's some kind of... Because it says adjustment, damage, defective. I don't know what it is. Serial number, right side, key number. Not sure what that is. I almost thought it was a build sheet. I'm like, man, that's cool. I didn't think you could see that far in there. in there for a long, long time. I'll put it on an envelope and I'll let you have it and you can decipher what it is. I'm going to get an air blower and blow all that stuff out so I don't catch nothing on fire in there. And then this is the inside lip. I also have that. But like I said, I'm going to do the same thing I did with this. Put the outside one on because it's not original. So we're going to put the outside lip on. And then I got pieces that I'm going to curl and bump with the thing and shrink it down to make it work to match this. Because it's good from here to here. And I just did that piece, so I'm going to continue the whole thing and then make another one for the front down here like this. And then that'll be that. Hmm. That's cool. All right. It's always cool to find stuff in the cars. Let me get the air blower. All right. So now I got to, from prying it, I got to just straighten these little things out right here. get this in there same thing stitch it all up should be good all right I think I'm ready to tack it in place we gotta make sure
I went to move it in there to get that paper out. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. All right, well.